Uh, smash an instant turtle. Got a scrambled up equation. We got to put the stuff in the right place. Oh god, we have multiplication. Uh, so it's going to have to equal a triple digit number because we're multiplying a double digit times a single digit. I think is the only way this is going to work. Uh, so we definitely have a double digit here. So the multiplication sign goes here, which is helpful. Um, and then we just kind of have to use use some uh, process of elimination here. So two could go here, eight could go at the end. That looks like a possible thing. So I'll do that. Yeah. So f five couldn't go here, one couldn't go here. So we're already to the two. So if, if we multiply something by two, it's going to end in an eight. Seems like a reasonable place to start. Uh, if we did 14, that's not going to be big enough. If we did, uh, so the other, only other option would be 64 times 2 would be 128. That's it. Uh, it's not because we have a 2 here. Oh, it was so close. Oh, so we just still need the 5. Okay, so so the 2 there doesn't work, I think is what I just concluded. Oh, that was so close. Okay, uh, so, so 2 doesn't work. Uh, maybe try 8 here. So that would end in a... I would end in a two. Then this number, now now we can use a lot of different numbers. One doesn't work, five doesn't work. Two doesn't work because we have it at the end. So it's just 64 times eight. What's 64 times eight? Seems like it probably could be five, 500. What was the other number we need? 512? 64 times eight, five. Yeah, that's actually right, right? That's because that's, yeah, perfect. There it is. Uh, that's an instant neural baby. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.